This one's going to be my last whiskey of the night. I started off with a beautiful 12-year-old Glenrothes, and I followed that by a 12-year-old, was it 12-year-old? No, it was non-age statement. It was a seven-wood Jura, which I hope gets better with time. And then I followed that up with a uh, batch four of Shelter Point artisanal whiskey bottled at 46%. It's an artisanal single malt, of which I had the inaugural batch back in 2016. And I haven't had artisanal malt between then and now. It was interesting. The batch four was very nice. Now I have... October Mori 12. Now there is one thing that I absolutely love from the Tilbur Mori distillery and that's the Lechig 10. This is October Mori 12. It's a relatively new expression. When did I acquire this? It was the 16th of October 2020 and it was the first time I saw it on the shelf and I just grabbed it. The Tobermory 12 sold for $96.99 at the BC Liquor Store. So, $9.70 divided by 2 gives us the goods and services tax plus $9.70 gives us the um, liquor tax, plus that dime for the bottle deposit, plus the $96.99 purchase price, $111.64. If you pay cash, it's $111.65. Wow, we got some expensive ones, or relatively expensive for like 10 and 12 years. $100 for a 12 year old? Well, I guess that's the going rate. That's what they cost here. Here is our Tobermory 12, 1798. Single malt Scotch whiskey. And I'm going to open up. I'll find a little pull tab on. Uh, there it is. Give that a pull. Lift that off. And here we have the cork. Oh. That is a interesting cork. I think it's synthetic. It's quite squishy. It's squishier than a natural cork. Hmm. And here is our Tobermory 12. I've had Tobermory a couple of times. I've had a couple of independent bottlings of Tobermory. This one is bottled at... Where did it say? 46.3% alcohol by volume. 46.3. I think just like the Lechegg 10. Yeah, I told you how much it costs and all that already. Yeah. Okay. Chuck that away. Huh. I'm getting something. Right away, an alcohol note. Some vanilla. 
what does it say about this? Product of Scotland, Scotch whiskey, 12 years, non show filtered. Returned for refund, distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland. Tobermory Distillers Limited, Isle of Mo. Forty-six point three percent alcohol by volume, and what does it say here? Tobermory twelve-year-old is a signature expression of our Hebridean home, made with non-peated barley and gently aged in ex-bourbon casks. It has smooth notes of vibrant fruit and spice, the very definition of our island artistry. Established in 1798, Tobermory, meaning Mary's Well in Gaelic, is the Isle of Mull's only distillery and one of the oldest commercial distilleries in Scotland. It sits at the center of the vibrant island community from which it takes its name. Tobermory's past, however, is as colorful as the town's seafront. A checkered story marked by closures and financial troubles has on more than one occasion threatened its very existence. Yet with creativity and dedication, Tobermory has endured its troubles. Today it's a thriving, expressive, and unique distillery, true to the idyllic location on the Hebridean island of Mull. Okay. On this side, on Mull we celebrate creativity and expression. This passion for art is evident not only in the colorful houses of Tobermory, framed by the landscape of our beautiful island, but is also reflected in the distinctive spirits we craft, which are inspired by the rich palette our Hebridean home provides. Aha! And, uh, yeah, just... So you can see it, these are what the houses look like. Um, this kind of thing here. And uh, nothing on this side. But yeah, they've got the houses there. Some more there. And like that. So you got an idea what it looks like. Okay. Mm. There's something vaguely floral here. Quite a bit floral. It's probably one of the most floral whiskeys I've ever nosed. I'm getting just a bit of vanilla underneath the floralness. No fruit to speak of, not much. Just floral. Makes me think I'm at a funeral or something. I've had Tobermory before, but they were independent bottles. I haven't had a Tobermory um, expression from the distillery before, aside from Lecheg 10. I wanted to have other Lechegs, but Lecheg 10 was the only one that ever was available to me. And there was a time when it wasn't available for about a year or two. 
after the first time I tried it. But I think I can get Lechegg 10 quite easily right now. October Mori 12, this, you know, as soon as it showed up, I jumped on it. What do I get on the palette? Hmm. I will take a smaller sip. It's light. It's gentle. It's sweet. There's not a hint of peat here. But there is some bite. That's from the alcohol content. That's from the 46.3% alcohol by volume. It's not bad. Not the greatest thing I've had either. Yeah, it's sweet. And every sip brings me closer to enjoying it and liking it. I think this might become really nice as it opens up. So I'm going to let it open up. I'm going to let it take its time and open up gradually. So I get floral on the nose. Sweet and malty on the palate. The finish. The finish is just dry, just dry. It's a little bit of malty sweetness left. It fades pretty fast. This might be interesting if it opens up a little more. But aside from that, I think it would be better if it were peated. I'm hearkening back to the Lechegg 10 
And I have the same opinion of this as I have had of the independent bottles of Tobermory. They are okay, but the Lechegg 10 just takes it up enough two or three notches more. This is all right, but for my money, Lechegg 10 every time. Yet if I take my time with this, every sip is better than the last. I could get used to this. I'm getting closer. I'm going to give it some time. Slash of a. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>